there's a lot going on and what I'm doing is having a um, sale of work that I think is wonderful and would be wonderful as Christmas gifts. Um, this work here was called Colette, although everybody tells me that it's really a self-portrait. And uh, Colette had this wonderful nunch around her neck, which was witty and uh, a, a cute animal boa. And obviously she's pert and ready for kind of action and partying. And so that's her. That's her ready to razzle dazzle. I, I studied ceramics in Holland um, in the 80s and I was very, very fascinated by the material and what the material can do. And in fact, the, the plates and the ceramics were an outcome of that process. Uh, quite a few of them I did use transfers because there was a project for the Johannesburg Art Gallery but um, a lot of them are totally hand-painted and totally sort of hand-imagined, really, or mind-imagined. And it was really fascinating how much people loved the ceramics. Somehow they understood them. Obviously, these are not ceramics that you're going to eat off. Please don't eat off the kitty cats. Um, they do get framed. You can see here that it's really on a border, but this would be in a frame normally. And I think people are very, very fascinated by that transition between what is functional, you know, eating from a plate, and what becomes creative and artistic and talks about the imagination. And I think these works really sit in that in-between place. I love cats. I'm actually so mad about cats. And I was thinking this very morning that ideally there should be uh, cat politics on the planet and cat parties. And perhaps the next thing that I'm going to do politically is a cat party that is really to support and love and adore and worship um, what cats are because I think they have such magic. So this, for instance, is a hand-painted plate um, and it's got the vitality, I suppose, and the um, immediacy of something that's done immediately and explored immediately with, with the material. So it's a bit like a watercolour. I mean, there's no space for mistakes, really. One's going to put down whatever the colours are and that's what it's going to be. You've bought into that. And um, I think what's What's really interesting about this whole series is that I did do a whole series of ladies. I would say not all self-portraits, but really I am fascinated by that thing of portraits and of women. So that was the other, the other big series that I worked with. I think this is interesting because it does have the luminescence, which is unusual. And quite a few of the works have got that experimental flavor.